Hello everyone. When the US agreed to provide cluster munitions to Ukraine for use in its war against Russia, many countries around the world expressed concern, while Russia strongly condemned this action and warned that things would get much worse. So what are cluster bombs? And why are they so scary? Let's find out together in this video. When it comes to bombs, we are no strangers to explosives that create two types of damage when detonated. First is the shock wave, which is extremely powerful and can blow people near the blast into pieces. Second is the bomb casing, designed to fragment into hundreds of shards flying at high speeds when it explodes. Being hit by those fragments is just as deadly as being shot. But we're only talking about a single bomb here. Cluster bombs are a much more terrifying weapon, hundreds of times more so. Simply put, cluster, implies a group of similar things, like a cluster of rays, cluster of fabric, or cluster of grapes. Similarly, cluster bombs contain hundreds of smaller bombs packed into a larger, mother, shell. If you were a mischievous kid who liked to fight like me, if a bigger kid was beating you, you'd pick up rocks to throw at them. Throwing one rock may hit or miss, but grabbing a handful of rocks to throw rarely misses. Cluster bombs are designed similarly. Instead of using one large bomb to hit a specific target, military engineers prefer launching one shell containing hundreds of smaller bombs to attack a wide area. It's a blind throw, you can't miss the enemy. Usually cluster bombs are designed to be dropped from aircrafts or fired from artillery. As they fall, the bombs spin rapidly due to the tail fins, spreading their children bombs over a wide area instead of impacting one spot. The submunitions usually land randomly, attacking the enemy by chance. However, some modern US cluster bomb types have submunitions with heat-seeking sensor heads that can find and target enemy vehicles and armor. This is much more effective than random bombing, though also more expensive. So why are cluster munitions so dangerous and condemned by many countries? First, they have tremendous wide area lethality. A typical cluster bomb contains from a few dozen to up to 2,000 submunitions, with a casualty radius of about 30,000 square meters equivalent to five FIFA standard football pitches. Using cluster bombs makes it very difficult to control the target, meaning innocent civilians could be harmed, which the international community condemns. But more importantly are the long-term consequences. Although civilian casualties are unavoidable in war, few weapons leave a lasting impact like cluster munitions. This is because they have a very low dud rate between 240% of the submunitions fail to explode on impact, instead burying themselves before detonating much later. Expensive, high-tech cluster bombs have very high detonation rates, while cheaper bombs made by less advanced countries have dud rates as high as 50%. With a 2% dud rate, launching 100,000 bombs means 2,000 live munitions lurking underground, ready to detonate unexpectedly anytime. There is perhaps no better example of the lasting horror of cluster munitions than Vietnam and Laos. From 1964-1973 in the Vietnam War, the US dropped 260 million cluster bombs on Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Around 80 million of them were duds a failure rate of 30%. As of 2009, over 7,000 people have been injured or killed by delayed explosions of cluster munitions in Quang Tri province alone. This future danger is why so many countries condemn cluster bombs war allows many terrible things, but fighting should not plant seeds of danger for future generations. President Zelensky has decided to use cluster munitions, but only in remote areas with pro-Russian populations who want to join Russia. He likely assumes these territories cannot be reclaimed, so leaving them riddled with underground bombs will deter settlement. Ukraine's cluster bomb usage, enabled by the US, may not technically violate international law. A convention banning cluster munitions has been signed by 123 countries, but notably not the US, Russia, or Ukraine so Ukraine is not bound by it. The US has used cluster bombs in many wars, as have Russia and the former USSR. For the Vietnamese, the cruel legacy of cluster bombs continues to be felt decades later. Cluster bombs lack the sheer power of nuclear weapons, or the speed of hypersonic missiles, but few weapons leave as lasting an impact.